Hi everyone, I'm Prashant Bardwaj. Uh, I work at CCG in AI software. In today's session, we want you to discover how Intel PC software stack is empowering AI development and deployment by offering a suite of frameworks, tools, solutions that will allow developers and customers to deploy AI models at scale. So why AI on the PC? AI on the cloud offers massive scalable compute and quick delivery of new experiences. But there are five reasons why AI on PC makes sense. Number one, privacy, where user data stays local on the device. Number two, local AI delivers faster responsiveness and better user experience. Number three is around personalization of user experiences in alignment with user data. Number four is around offline experiences where we don't have any or limited connectivity. And finally, the cost of deployment. As we see on the cloud today, the cost of deployment is going up. That is amplified by Gen AI models. And we see that there's another reason why AIPC makes sense for model deployment. One of our ISV partners, Buffer Zone, who reported a 90% reduction of offering their solutions on locally on our AIPC. Let's talk about the AI adoption from an engine perspective. Now, many people equate AIPC solely with NPU. While that is definitely part of it, Intel perspective is broader. We, we recognize that various AI models, specific capabilities, and our focus is on enabling performance through our three AI engines. We understand from our internal research that there is almost even model deployment across these three AI engines. By 2025, we expect a slight increase in NPU at the expense of CPU, which is the migration you would expect. The GPU remains a solid choice today with its speed and durability and is favored by our developers. Today, with our Cole Ultra platform, we have unmatched AI compute of 120 tops across the three AI engines. There are different motivations for users of why would they choose a AI engine. Performance, GPU would be the choice, NPU for power efficiency, and CPU for low latency. If you look at comparing our previous platform, Intel Core Ultra scales GPU performance by 3x and NPU performance by more than 4x. This allows developers and customers to deploy AI models and make it available at scale for their own end users. As you guys know, we have been in close partnership with Microsoft on Copilot plus PC. Copilot plus PC is powered by Intel Ultra, and we expect Copilot plus PC experiences coming into Intel Core later this year, early next year. Now let's talk about AI PC software and the value it provides to our developers and our customers. There are four guiding principles that is driving our thinking. Number one, provide choice for both developers and customers. Number two is about supporting and leaning on, on the open ecosystem. Number three is about focusing on delivering best user experience. And finally, making it easier for developers and customers to deploy AI models at scale. In alignment with these four principles, we provide three key capabilities. AI solutions and platforms, a comprehensive set of tools and frameworks to empower developers, and foundational AI software for our target hardware AI engines. So now let's move on to our second key topic around AI model deployment. The goal for the AI PC deployment stack is to deliver exceptional user experience and empowering developers to innovate. For our customers, it means optimized and seamless AI PC experiences, zero-day model deployment, and out-of-box AI PC experience. For developers, it means advanced tools, standard and open frameworks, and solutions to enhance developer productivity and ensuring an efficient AI model deployment at scale. We have an end-to-end -end deployment stack. You know, there are a set of Gen AI tools which are evolving in the ecosystem. 
for example, length chain and llama, llama index. We have support for these tools and ecosystem for our developers. And we continue to add more support as we go along this Gen AI journey. On frameworks and runtimes, we support a plethora of net frameworks and tools for our ecosystem. That includes OpenVINO, which is an end-to-end uh, stack by Intel. And then we support all the other key ecosystem and frameworks used by developers. For model optimization and profiling tools, we have set of capabilities which allows developers and customers to, to optimize their models for speed and memory efficiency and help them scale their models across different devices. Here are some examples of the customers and ISVs we have enabled through our AIPC stack. There are examples you see around video conferencing use cases where you know, backlog blur, enhanced background segmentation, portrait lighting are some of the use cases in, in video conferencing case where they are able to leverage all the three engines to do model deployment. We have use cases on productivity, content creation, text prediction, and so on and so forth. And then you will see a set of use cases enabled by Gen AI, both in the, in the language space as well as the image space, where we are enabling use cases around enhancing productivity, AI assistant, and fostering creativity for our creators. Let's dive in into our frameworks and, and tools. OpenVINO is an Intel Apache 2.0 license framework which supports all the models coming in from PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, Onyx, and others. Today, we have 500 plus models which are optimized and deployed on AIPC using OpenVINO. The real benefit of OpenVINO is being faster, being smarter, and being everywhere. So it allows developers with speed up in terms of development time. It helps them with the resource efficiencies across the three AI engines we have, and gives them ease of integration with the existing APIs and frameworks they may be working with. And it allows them to scale across devices. So you could you know, deploy a model on, on a CPU or integrated GPU or NPU. And at the same time, we support all different class of models, starting from computer vision, natural language processing, including LLMs, and Gen AI multi-models. Let's look at how you can run a Gen AI model on AI PC. So there are four steps. In this example, the Gen AI models are represented in a PyTorch format. Therefore, OpenVINO converts these models from PyTorch format to an OpenVINO format and there are different types of Gen AI models supported by OpenVINO, like visual, LMs, audio, and multimodality. To re significantly reduce the model size and memory footprint, we have neural network compressor framework, which allow allows us to quantize these models and make them fit to the hardware footprint. Now, these models can be easily deployed on CPU, GPU, and NPU with few lines of code. And it's very easy to run these models with OpenVINO Generative API, and also with other APIs like Hugging Face Optimum to drive efficiency as well as performance. Now let's talk about the, the extensive ecosystem integrations we have done with OpenVINO. Here our goal has been meet developers where they are. To serve to that goal, we have brought the OpenVINO to ecosystem frameworks and tools. Now these integrations allows to make OpenVINO framework accessible to a wider range of developers and applications. One of them is optimization of RAG pipelines. RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, is a method which combines proprietary data with an LLM model to produce more accurate outputs. By integrating OpenVINO with LangChain and Llama Index, we are able to optimize these RAG pipelines for better performance. And this is especially important for faster response time for applications like chatbots and virtual assistants. By bringing these frameworks into the ecosystem, we are able to increase the compatibility, which allows developers who are already using these tools to be able to incorporate open menu optimizations in their workflow. And lastly, accessibility and ease of use. With a with few line of code, OpenVINO can be integrated with these 
RAG frameworks, and other frameworks like you know, PyTorch, Onyx, and Hugging Face Optimum, which allows developers to be able to run and scale their model on AIP. Finally, let's talk about our third pillar, developer tools and solutions. Here, we are announcing PyTorch 2.5 support for Intel AI PCs. As Intel continues the journey to bring everywhere through ubiquitous hardware and software, we have enabled Intel GPUs to support PyTorch 2.5. This will allow developers to be able to experiment, prototype, and fine tune models on an AI PC that are built with the latest generation of Intel processors. We would unlock 40 million PCs and our laptops by 2024, and this volume will grow by 100 million PCs by end of 2025. Considering the most PCs and laptops are shipped with Windows, by default, we have enabled initial Windows OS support for PyTorch to make it easier for everyone. So now you can build, you can experiment, and fine tune models on AI PC using PyTorch. Earlier this year, we announced AI PC develop, development kit. The goal of the dev kit is to empower developers to innovate, adapt, and scale new client AI technologies. The dev kit is focused on providing ease of use, increased developer productivity, and consistent and reliable experience. So if you are a skill builder who is looking to build AI skill on PC, or if you are a solution builder who is looking to deploy a model scale in production, AI dev kit can help you achieving your goals. The dev kit is available for software developers and ISVs from our OEM Kadas, and there are additional OEMs to start shipping the dev kit uh, later this year. We also have remote, remote access to AIPC dev kit through Intel Developer Cloud, which provides you access to the dev kit via the cloud, even if you didn't have access to the dev kit hardware kit. Now let's talk about the AI dev kit software support. We support all the key frameworks, including OpenVINO, Onyx Runtime, DirectML, WebNN, PyTorch. There are a set of tools and workflows for AI development and deployment. And there are a set of Jupyter notebooks and samples for you to get started on, on your journey. There are models that cover you know, areas like computer vision, NLP, LLM, image generation, and many more. And we also have a knowledge center which provides you documentation, training, and tech blocks for you to explore. AI Playground. As the name suggests, it is really a playground which allows developers to, to experiment and prototype. This is an open source project from Intel that pulls all together in an easy to use UI and locally hosted web app. It supports some of the use cases like image creation, image editing, a chatbot with RAG, leveraging the native PyTorch. So developers can clone this as a super reference sample and get a head start on building your own AI application for Intel Core Ultra processors and Intel Arc GPUs. We also want to introduce you to the GIMP integration with OpenVINO. So if you are a Linux enthusiast we want to, and you want to elevate your GIMP game with AI, we have got the perfect solution for you. Introducing the first GIMP installation package for Intel XPUs, this package does all the heavy lifting for you, and it seamlessly, seamlessly integrates OpenVINO stable diffusion plugins into GIMP, making it easy for you to develop various AI use cases. So this really allows developers on Linux to get a head start and be more creative and build new AI applications using the GIMP package we have to offer. So at the end, AI PC provides three things. It empowers developers to quickly get started on the unique benefits on the AI PC. It gives developers customer support, tools, and frameworks, which are open and standard. And then we have a comprehensive stack for you to be able to deploy models at scale across the three AI engines. Here is the call to action for all of you First, we would like you to engage with AIPC. Explore the dev kits we have to offer and, and deep dive into some of the AI demos and showcases we have for you online. With that, 
I would like to thank you for listening to this presentation and uh, looking to collaborate further with you.